The World Food Programme is the food assistance branch of the United Nations and the world's largest humanitarian organization addressing hunger and promoting food security. According to the WFP, it provides food assistance to an average of 91.4 million people in 83 countries each year. From its headquarters in Rome and from more than 80 country offices around the world, the WFP works to help people who cannot produce or obtain enough food for themselves and their families. It is a member of the United Nations Development Group and part of its executive committee. Overview WFP was first established in 1961 after the 1960 Food and Agriculture Organization conference, when George McGovern, director of the U.S. Food for Peace programs, proposed establishing a multilateral food aid program. The WFP was formally established in 1963 by the FAO and the United Nations General Assembly on a three-year experimental basis. In 1965, the program was extended to a continuing basis. Topic: <laughs> Goals and Strategies. The WFP strives to eradicate hunger and malnutrition with the ultimate goal in mind of eliminating the need for food aid itself. The objectives that the WFP hopes to achieve are to save lives and protect livelihoods in emergencies support food security and nutrition and rebuild livelihoods in fragile settings and following emergencies reduce risk and enable people communities and countries to meet their own food and nutrition needs reduce undernutrition and break the intergenerational cycle of hunger zero hunger in 2030 WFP food aid is also directed to fight micronutrient deficiencies, reduce child mortality, improve maternal health, and combat disease, including HIV and AIDS. Food for work programs help promote environmental and economic stability and agricultural production. Funding <inaudible> 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 The WFP operations are funded by voluntary donations from governments of the world, corporations and private donors. The organization's administrative costs are only 7%—one of the lowest and best among aid agencies. From 2008 to 2012, private voluntary donors donated around $500 million. In 2016, WFP received from donors in total 5,933,529,247 dollars. The USA were the major donor of WFP with 2 billion dollars, followed by the European Commission 894 million dollars and Germany 884 million dollars. Topic: Organization The WFP is governed by an executive board which consists of representatives from 36 member states. David Beasley is the current executive director, appointed jointly by the UN Secretary General and the Director General of the FAO for a five-year term. He heads the Secretariat of the WFP. The European Union is a permanent observer in the WFP and, as a major donor, participates in the work of its executive board. Its vision is a world in which every man, woman and child has access at all times to the food needed for an active and healthy life." The WFP has a staff of about 15,000 people, the majority of whom work in remote areas. Logistics cluster The Logistics Cluster is an Inter-Agency Standing Committee humanitarian coordination mechanism whose primary role is supporting emergency responses. One of eleven sectoral coordination bodies, it was set by UN General Assembly Resolution 46182 in December 1991 and extended in the humanitarian reform of 2005, with new elements adopted to improve capacity, predictability, accountability, leadership and partnership. 
The logistics cluster provides coordination and information management services to support operational decision making and improve the predictability, timeliness and efficiency of humanitarian emergency responses. Where necessary, the logistics cluster also facilitates access to common logistics services. Due to its expertise in the field of humanitarian logistics, the World Food Programme was chosen by the IASC as the lead agency for the logistics cluster. WFP hosts the Global Logistics Cluster Support Team in its headquarters in Rome. WFP also acts as a «provider of last resort» offering common logistics services, when critical gaps hamper the humanitarian response. Activities In 2013, the WFP reached 80.9 million people in 75 countries and provided 3.1 million tons of food, including nutritionally enriched ready-to-use therapeutic foods. 7.8 million malnourished children received special nutritional support in 2013, and 18.6 million children received school meals or take-home rations. In 2015, the WFP reached 76.7 million people in 81 countries. In emergencies, more than 50 million people were reached in order to improve their nutrition and food security. School meals were provided to 17.4 million children helping retain children in schools, supporting uninterrupted access to education. The WFP has scaled up its use of cash and vouchers as food assistance tools. 7.9 million people received assistance through cash or voucher programs in 2013. In the same year, the WFP purchased food in 91 countries, 86% of that food came from developing countries. Among its other activities, the WFP has coordinated the five year Purchase for Progress P4P pilot project. Launched in September 2008, P4P assists smallholder farmers by offering them opportunities to access agricultural markets and to become competitive players in the marketplace. The project spanned across 20 countries in Africa, Asia and Latin America and trained 800,000 farmers in improved agricultural production, post-harvest handling, quality assurance, group marketing, agricultural finance and contracting with the WFP. The project resulted in 366,000 metric tons of food produced and generated more than $148 million in income for its smallholder farmers. The WFP focuses its food assistance on those who are most vulnerable to hunger, which most frequently means women, children, the sick, and the elderly. In fact, part of the response to the 2010 Haiti earthquake consisted of distributing food aid only to women as experience built up over almost five decades of working in emergency situations has demonstrated that giving food only to women helps to ensure that it is spread evenly among all household members. School feeding and or take-home ration programs in 71 countries help students focus on their studies and encourage parents to send their children, especially girls, to school. Emergency response classifications The WFP has a system of classifications known as the Emergency Response Classifications designated towards situations that require immediate response. This response is activated under the following criteria. When human suffering in which domestic governments do or cannot respond to adequately The United Nations reputation is under scrutiny. When there is an obvious need for aid from the WFPTHE emergency response classifications are divided as follows, with emergency intensity increasing with each level. Level 1 response is activated. Resources are allocated to prepare for the WFP's local office to respond. Level 2A countries resources require regional assistance with an emergency across one or multiple countries, territories. Level 3 – The emergency overpowers the WFP's local offices and requires a global response from the entire WFP organization. <laughs> Current Level 3 emergencies Listed countries are currently classified as Level 3 Iraq – Level 3 Nigeria – Level 3 South Sudan – Level 3 Syria level 3 Yemen level 3 topic 
Official partnerships and initiatives The WFP coordinates and cooperates with a number of official partners in emergencies and development projects. These partners include national government agencies such as DFEED, ECHO, EuropeAid, USAID, UN agencies such as the Food and Agriculture Organization and the International Fund for Agricultural Development non-governmental organizations such as Save the Children, Catholic Relief Services and Norwegian Refugee Council, as well as corporate partners such as Boston Consulting Group, DSMNV, and Cargill. Grassroots efforts In 2004, the WFP tasked Auburn University in Auburn, Alabama with heading the first student-led war on hunger effort, after a 2002 Northwestern University pilot. Auburn founded the Committee of 19, which has not only led campus and community hunger awareness events but also developed a war on hunger model for use on campuses across the country. The WFP has launched a global advocacy and fundraising event called Walk the World. On one single day each year, hundreds of thousands of people in every time zone all over the world walk to call for the end of child hunger. In 2005, more than 200,000 people walked in 296 locations. In 2006, there were 760,000 participants in 118 countries all over the world. This event is part of the campaign to achieve the Millennium Development Goals, specifically to have the number of people who suffer from hunger and poverty by 2015. A growing number of grassroots global events and celebrations such as International Day of Peace, World Party Day participants, and Peace One Day recommend the WFP on radio broadcasts as an immediate reach-out action, putting help within reach of anyone with the information that a quarter feeds a child for a day. Fill the Cup campaign takes just 25 U.S. cents to fill one of the «red cups» that the World Food Programme uses to give hungry children a regular school meal of porridge, rice or beans. Christina Aguilera, Drew Barrymore and Sean Penn are among notable celebrities who endorse the WFP. The British singer Sami Youssef joined with the WFP to support the drought stricken in Horn of Africa through his personal campaign, LifeFeedAfrica, and music video, Forgotten Promises. In June 2018, composer and WFP supporter Benson Taylor travelled to the Bidi Bidi refugee settlement in Uganda with the WFP to raise awareness for World Refugee Day. <laughs> World Hunger Relief Week In 2007, the WFP joined with YUM. Brands, the world's largest restaurant company, to launch the first annual World Hunger Relief Week, a global campaign to increase awareness about hunger, engage volunteers, and raise critically needed funds to help the WFP serve the world's areas of greatest need. World Hunger Relief Week 2007 leveraged the power of nearly 35,000 restaurants around the world, sparking a global movement to end hunger and generating an overwhelming outpouring of support from millions of customers, employees, franchisees, and their families. Nearly 1 million Yum!, KFC, Pizza Hut, Taco Bell, Long John Silvers and A&W All-American Food employees, franchisees and their families volunteered close to 4 million hours to aid hunger relief efforts in communities worldwide, while helping to raise $16 million throughout the World Hunger Relief Week initiative for the World Food Program and other hunger relief agencies around the world. The initiative has been repeated every year since. World Food Program USA World Food Program USA, before 2010 known as Friends of the World Food Program, works to solve global hunger, building a world where everyone has the food and nutrition needed to lead healthy, productive lives. WFP USA raises support for these efforts in the United States by engaging individuals, organizations and businesses, shaping public policy and generating resources for WFP. Criticism Kenyan economist James Shikwati says in an interview with Der Spiegel, "...aid to Africa does more harm than good." According to him, the food aid increases corruption as local politicians have the opportunity to steal some of the aid to bribe voters or to sell the aid in the black markets killing the local agriculture. He claims that the WFP people as an organization, 
are in the absurd situation of, on the one hand, being dedicated to the fight against hunger while, on the other hand, being faced with unemployment were hunger actually eliminated." He suggests that WFP answers too easily to the calls of the corrupted governments, and supplies too much of food aid leading to reduction of the production of local farmers as, "...no one can compete with the UN's World Food Programme." The World Food Program was also criticized by José Chiro Martínez and Brent Eng in their essay, "...the unintended consequences of emergency food aid, neutrality, sovereignty and politics in the Syrian Civil War, 2012–15," due to an interview conducted with an employee of the organization who stated, "...most aid is still subject to strict control measures by the government, who also requests that it be distributed through state-approved bodies such as SARC." I believe the government closely oversees if not completely controls these organizations." This statement was expanded upon by the authors as they noted that food aid given in Syria would go to the military and its men first. <laughs> <laughs> List of executive directors The following is a chronological list of those who have held the executive director of the World Food Program position. Attic Hendrik Borma, May 1962 to December 1967. Sushil K. Dev, acting January 1968 to August 1968. Francisco Aquino, July 1968 to May 1976. Thomas C. M. Robinson, May 1976 to June 1977, acting July 1977 to September 1977. Garson N. Vogel, October 1977 to April 1981. Bernardo de Azevedo Brito, acting May 1981 to February 1982. Juan Felipe Uriart, acting de February 1982 to April 1982. James Ingram, April 1982 to April 1992. Catherine Bertini, April 1992 to April 2002. James T. Morris, April 2002 to April 2007. Jacette Sheeran, April 2007 to April 2012. Ertherin Cousin, April 2012 to April 2017. David Beasley, April 2017 present. See also Asia Emergency Response Facility Fight Hunger, Walk the World Food Force, an educational game Food Security Walk the World World Food Council World Party Day Logistics Cluster Notes equals 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 footnotes <laughs>